If we wanted to compute i to the third power, that's pretty simple. In fact, that just means i times i times i, or multiply i by itself a total of three times. And that's pretty simple, right? i times i would be negative one, and multiply by i, we get negative i. But what about three to the i power? What does that even mean? Does that mean multiply three by itself a total of i number of times? Right, so how can we even make sense of three to the i power? Well, to do that, we're going to have to use Euler's formula. And Euler's formula is this wonderful little identity that says e to the i theta equals cosine theta plus i sine theta. And if you were to Google most beautiful formulas in mathematics, and it may be listed at a top 10 most beautiful formulas, almost always this would be listed as the top one or maybe the second most beautiful formula. Or if you poll mathematicians, they'll, they'll say the same thing. In fact, sometimes uh, the most beautiful formula is a special case of this where you let uh, theta be pi and you get e to the i pi equals cosine pi plus i sine pi. Of course, sine of pi is zero and cosine of pi is negative one. So you get e to the i pi equals negative one, or in other words, e to the i pi plus one equals zero. And sometimes that's ranked as the most beautiful formula in all of math. Well, it turns out that if you know Euler's formula, it makes computing three to the i power actually pretty simple. Now, if you don't know Euler's formula, if you've never seen this before, I'm going to make a video on this formula, and I'll post a link to the video in the description of, of this video. Okay, so how do we do 3 to the i? Well, 3 to the i, we can write as e to the natural log of 3 to the i. Okay, now here this natural log is a complex logarithm. In fact, it's usually written as just log instead of ln. But it's the inverse of the exponential function. And it turns out that we can use the same properties of logarithms that we're familiar with to bring this i out front and write this as e to the i times ln of 3. And now is when we use Euler's formula. In fact, notice this is of the form e to the i theta, where theta is natural log of 3. So using that identity here, the Euler's formula, we can write this as cosine of ln of 3 plus i sine of natural log of 3. Okay, and I actually did this ahead of time. I did this on a calculator ahead of time. And this is approximately 0 0.45, so rounded to the nearest hundredth here, plus 0 0.89i. Okay, so that's what 3 to the i is, right? It's this complex number. Now, it turns out this point here, this number is in, in the complex plane, is a point that's on the unit circle. In fact, natural log of 3 is about 1.1. So it's, it's 1.0986 dot dot dot. And we can think of that as being an angle in radians because that's what we're inputting into the cosine and sine functions. Now, in terms of degrees, this is about 62.9 degrees. But that's the angle that we're putting in here. Now, I've hand drawn the unit circle right here. And excuse my bad drawing here. But if we were to plot a point on the unit circle, that's at this angle of 62.9 degrees, or really angle of natural log of three, this point right here, that's our point, 0.45 plus 0.89i. Or in other words, that's the point three to the i. So this point in the complex plane that's on the unit circle, three to the i, is the point that's on the unit circle that has this angle of natural log of three with respect to the positive real axis here. So that's geometrically where 3 to the i power is.